everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome welcome to my new subscribers glad to have you on board um, for those of you who do are new to my channel um, I do uh, art videos but I also do doll videos because um, I do have a fairly large <laughs> Barbie doll collection well doll collection in general and I do have other bar dolls besides Barbies but anyway mostly it's art art videos and this here is Palico Packs for May now I actually did another I did an unboxing of this but when I went to look for it I found that this I did this once before I had deleted the file folder that this the, the unboxing was in so because I, I, you know, when I'm using my camera, I put other, you know, pictures on it, and I upload it onto my, in, in my file, my folders, and usually there are pictures of the cats, pictures of stuff I'm going to sell on eBay, la la la, and when I delete a whole line, sometimes I'll get one of the files above the line that I've deleted, and I don't realize I've done it until after I've done it. So, therefore... I accidentally deleted the file that, or the folder that this, the, the unboxing of this was in. So, um, anyway, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Powerful Packs, this is a monthly subscription box um, that has uh, quality uh, art supplies in it and usually a, a type of a project. Um, they, they, you know, they, they have all, you give, they give you all the tools, the paints or markers or whatever happens to, happens to be in the box. Now, of course, I already know what's in the box because I already did a previous unboxing. And in case you're wondering, the music in the background is Scheherazade. I just felt like listening to something while I was doing something else, and I didn't bother to turn off the, or, you know, pause it, because it's on YouTube. But anyway, um, let me show you uh, what I did for, well, what I'm working on for January's box. Well, this was January's box. And if you look back through my videos, you will see the supplies that came in the January's box. It was acrylic paint. And um, I've gotten part of this done. And it's, I guess they got uh, stuff that makes it more textured. So right now, I've just got, you know, the dark parts in. I've got I've to, you know, of course, build on it and put all the lights. So, it's, of course, it's a little landscape. Um, I believe it's the Seven Veils Waterfall. I'm not, I cannot recall what island it is on. I'm not sure if it's the Big Island or Maui or Kauai. I'm not sure. Um, I forgot. <laughs> Honestly, I forgot, but there's like, there's a bridge up here. And, but anyway, um, that's what I'm, that's what this is going to be eventually. Anyway, um, that's what I'm working for the January's box because I have done previous Palette for Packs box. I think I did last month's box. No, I didn't do last month's box. I haven't, done, I haven't started on that one yet. But I think this was like a March's box, I think I did. Maybe February's, but I'm not sure. Anyway, this is January's. I thought I'd better start getting work, working on it. And I will get, eventually get this fit, fit, finished. But anyway, let's get into this box. Now, this one here, like I said, I've already opened it. I already know what's inside. And um, I still got the little confetti. The, the, usually, powerful Packs comes with this confetti stuff. Now, I will have a link in the uh, description box below to uh, the Powerful Packs site. So, in case you're interested in getting a, um, a, a box, you can go to their site and check it out. And, let's see. Okay, we got the card. They always come with a card, a menu. Uh, sometimes they'll have an, you know, a, 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 an art piece on the, on, the other opposite si on the other side of the menu. But, in this case, it doesn't. It's just um, talking about whole bean, acrylic. Acrylla, acrylla? I guess it's acrylla. Um, I'm gonna say gauche, but it's gouache. <laughs> I just want to say it's gauche. It's so gauche, but uh, it's actually gouache. So um, anyway, um, let me get it. Let's get into this box. And let me see here. I should have been prepared. My eyes are much better, by the way. Um, I'm seeing much better. I think uh, I don't see the doctor again until August. And he said that if I, I believe I may have mentioned this in a previous box, a previous um, uh, video that um, uh, if anything went wrong, then I sh was to call him. But until then, I, I think I see him in August or September. I've got two doctor's appointments around that same time, so it's either him or my other doctor. But either August or September, 
I have to go see the doctor again. But so far, my eyes are really improving, so that's always good. Anyway, um, let me get, get into this. Um, first, we have a whole bean acrylla uh, gouache. I keep wanting to say gauche. <laughs> Uh, it's a set of five, and it says here, made with pure water-soluble acrylic resin. Uh, Acryla uh, gouache is brilliant, light, fast, and permanent, and uh, moves, reacts, blends, and feels like traditional gouache. However, unlike a traditional gouache, which I've never used, by the way, um, which is made with a gum Arabic binder, it does not have a uh, fragile paint film, is compatible with any water-soluble media, and is waterproof when dry. It also does not shift in color uh, tone from liquid to dry color. Uh, ideal for artists, designers, and illustrators. And this little box retails for $20. This little box. But anyway, here are the colors. We've got Crimson, lemon yellow, we've got sky blue, I believe, yes, sky blue, black, and titanium, well, actually, I think this is a, a jet black and titanium white, the standard color, so I've got the primary colors, let me see, I did do a, so I can find my little, I've, I've been, I reorganized my art supplies, so they're all, they should be all out here. Okay, I did do some uh, uh, swatches to see. Ah, uh, here we are. Here are the swatches up here. See, uh, as you can see, I did several swatches. I mixed the colors together. But oh, let me let me tilt the camera. Ah, there we go. This is the crimson. This is the lemon yellow, sky blue, jet black, and of course over here is the titanium white. And here is all the mixture of the, of the colors that you know I did um, to get to see what kind of color tones that I could get. So quite a rate just with these three colors right here, plus mixed in black, plus with white. So I mean that's really an, all an artist really needs. I mean I love to have a variety of colors, you know, all the colors of the rainbow. I you know any color you can think of. But actually, all an artist really needs is the three primary colors plus white. Because you can actually get a black out of these three colors. You can actually do, you can get a black. But it's nice to have the black anyway. So it, that's all you really need. It's just, you need like the three primary colors and white. That's all you really need. You really actually do not need all of the, you know, gazillions of colors. But it's nice to have them. Anyway, so that's the uh, gouache, and then we've got mixed media paper pad, a 500 series, 6x8. Um, let me see, the, um, this extra heavyweight 3-ply, oh, well, no wonder, I didn't have my, I was reading without my reading glasses on, that's why I was having problems, there we go. Okay, this extra heavyweight 3-ply, 100% cotton paper pad has just come on the market. It provides... A premium mixed media surface that offers true wet media performance with a drawing media finish. Okay. Um, the sheets are uh, internally sized for wet media and have a uh, double uh, durable vellum finish for drawing techniques. And the, uh, this pad retails for $12.99. And this is the pad. And, this and I like the feel of the paper. The paper feels really nice. So, and there's like, well, how many sheets were there? How many sheets? Oh, there's 12 sheets in here. But these are really thick pieces of paper. Look at this. Look how thick that is. Can you see how thick that is? That is really thick. I mean, that's not a thin paper at all. That's going to hold up really well. I mean, that is, it's awesome. It's almost like having actual mini canvases. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, because you usually can't, you know, the, the flat canvases are you know, pretty hard, and this is, it's pretty hard. Anyway, so that's, that's, there's only, it looks like there's a whole mess of paper, but there's only 12, there's only 12 sheets there. Can you believe that? Anyway, okay. Next we have a Connoisseur Protégé Premium uh, Teclon Brush Set of Five. Uh, Protégé Fine Arts Brushes are skillfully handcrafted with maximum care, attention, and quality control. Synthetic premium Teclon hair is designed to simulate the uh, benefits of sable, widely, widely acclaimed 
as the finest natural artist brush hair. Synthetic brushes uh, bristles are durable, stand up to solvents, and are easy to clean. Teclon filaments are hefty and will hold their shape with a with a liberal paint load. And these retail for fifteen dollars and fifty cents. Now here's the packaging. So that's the packaging, but let me show you the brushes. Okay, we've got this one, two, three of them. Hold on, there's two more. One and two. And here are the brushes, and here are the different brush tips. So this is really being, of course, it's got the little protective thing on it. I'm not going to take that off. Not yet, anyway. And then we've got a flat brush. Oh, let me, let me see. What, what numbers are these? These got numbers on them. Hold on a minute. Okay, I saw the numbers a minute ago. Do, 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 do. Let me see. We've got... Okay, this is a shader brush, and it's a one uh, seven fourths or one fourth. Hold on a minute. Okay, it's one fourth. This is a shader brush, according to the little thing on the on the uh, barrel, and then, I like that angle. I like the angle. And then we have oh, this one here is a. Hold on a minute. Okay, this is a. Um, Zero zero round brush, this one here, and then we have. I like it that we have different sizes, and now I've got a lot of, of brushes, but I I always say I can never have too many paint brushes. Um, let me see. Uh, this is a three fourths flat brush, and let me see the next one. Let's do the next size down. The next one is, I like it that they give us all these brushes. This is another flat one, but this is a size 8. This is an 8. And then finally we have a 5 round brush. And this is the, the 5 round brush. So we've got quite a few brushes here. So that's, that's always nice. So got me some new brushes again <laughs> got me some new brushes yeah <laughs> anyway okay and then we have a nine well palette tray suitable for all water-based media this sturdy paint tray um, is rectangular with rounded corners a smooth easy oh, let's see a smooth easy to clean surface with and nine paint wells and that retails for a dollar 49 of course this is this and I'm glad I have another one because the one that I bought, and I did a, I did a video on uh, my Walmart haul. <laughs> this one, this is the one I use all the time. And it's still got, these are my watercolor paints in here. So, I mean, <laughs> I use this all the time, and it's getting really, I don't, does anybody know how to clean these things? I mean, do I just soak it in water? Because most of this is just watercolor, either watercolor paint or acrylic paint. I want, I would like to clean this thing out because it's really nasty. Well, it's just messy. And I, I, forget to clean it and of course these are these are still vile uh, vi I can still use it because it's all it is is just the the um, watercolor paint and all I have to do is dip my brush in it and it'll, it'll reactivate but anyway I do need another one <laughs> um, then we have now this is so cool this next thing I'm going to show you I am really excited about using this because I am a stickler for keep, keeping my brushes clean. We have a paint. I have to watch my watch my uh, my the way I pronounce this. Paint puck brush cleaner. Using a cup with water alone is often ineffective to fully get unwanted paint off of your brush. The paint puck will stick to the bottom of your cup. The soft silicone paint puck nubs will thoroughly and gently clean all artist brushes. And this retails for $6.99. And this is the paint puck. This is this is this not cool looking? This is so cool looking. I am looking forward to using this thing because I hate trying to clean off my brushes. I mean, I do. You know, I clean them off. Um, the one thing that I just I hated cleaning was I think it was in. Oh, it was last year. I was a smart art box and it came with these little nozzles and you 
you know, you did, you know, you used them for different designs and stuff. And I hated cleaning those nozzles out. I re they were a bugaboo to clean out. And I am just, a, I am, pardon the phrase, I'm anal about cleaning out my brushes. If they're not, I just keep cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning until finally the, I don't get any more paint on my paper towel. But I cannot tell you, I just, oh, I just hate to have filthy brushes. And when I see, like, say, a fellow artist or somebody just has paint just gooped up on their, you know, like the, the handle of their brushes. I mean, the brush is clean, and the, the brush itself is clean, but the, the paint, the, the handle is, is ink icky. Oh, no, that just drives me crazy. But anyway, that is the Palletful Packs box for May. I will get to the um, April's box eventually. <laughs> eventually. Um, hopefully I'll have something done by June, but I don't know. You know, because I've been really busy. Um, we are going to be moving in two years. Now, I know it's two years. You know, it's not like right away. But the problem is that two years, before you know it, two years is gone and you haven't done anything. You haven't prepared to, you know to uh, move, you haven't gotten rid of anything, and since we're going to Hawaii, I've, we've got, I've got, we, we want to take as little as possible, because it's, well, we have to go, we can't drive there, so we can't rent a U-Haul and, you know, drive over, <laughs> unless, they, unless they build a really long underwater tunnel, or they build a really long bridge, so, and that's, since that's never going to happen, um, so we're going to have to have, we're going to have to hire a mover to do it. So we want to get rid of as much as we possibly can. And I have a lot of stuff. Not my husband. My husband doesn't have as much as I do. My husband is, his stuff fills one room. I fill up the whole house. <laughs> I have books and movies and dolls and collectibles and figurines and oh my lord I have got so much stuff and I've got to cull it I've got to cut back on it and get rid of it and a lot of it is paper stuff so I want to scan it and put it on my hard drive um, now I don't know if y'all have ever heard of what uh, of paper dolls but I have a fairly large collection of paper dolls and I want to scan them and put them on a hard drive and you know sell the the originals or whatever um and uh at least I'll have a copy I'm not I'm one of those people I'm not a stickler I don't necessarily have to have the original so long as I have a copy and I knew that I once upon a time had it I'm happy because I can always make a copy of it. You know, I can always, you know, uh, uh, print it off if I really want a hard copy of a paper doll. But it's fun to, you know, mess with them in Photoshop. You know, just take the clothes and you can cut them out and then put them on the doll. Use the, the use it in a, um, like, a, you know, on your uh, blog or you can use it as an art piece. You know, like, say, uh, use it in a mixed media piece or something. You know, just, you know, so you don't have to use the actual paper doll. And I also make my own paper dolls. I actually, I've been making paper dolls for, oh gosh, years and years. And a lot of them are, are good for, um, especially the ones that were done back in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s or even the 30s. Um, they're good for costumes um, and some of them are fantasy so or historical. And they're always good for uh, resource material. So, uh, and if, I mean, if you guys would be interested, I mean, because paper dolls in their own right is a f art form because, and people still make paper dolls today. I mean, the, the one artist was Tom Tierney. Now he recently passed away. I think it was last year he passed away. It was either 2017 or 2016, but I know he recently passed away. And he was, a, he, you know, he did uh, celebrities and historical paper doll sets and, well, books. And then we've got David Wolf. He also does, he, he mainly does um, Hollywood type of um, uh, paper dolls. And there's a few other, like Corey. Um, well, this, it, it's paper dolls by Corey. He does usually a lot of Disney-related paper doll sets. So, I mean, um, yeah, so, I mean, I love doing paper dolls, and I love making paper dolls, and I've got quite a, you know, uh, uh, well, let me show you. Over there, see that bookcase over there? That's all filled with paper dolls. 
with books of paper dolls and, and you know, and, and um, paper doll sets. And I've got some comic books that got paper dolls in them. And then let me turn you around here so you can see this over here. Now down here at the very bottom, those are paper dolls um, and magazines, that have, uh, children's magazines that got paper dolls in them. That's my artwork right there, some of my artwork. Some of my artwork's up there, but right down here at the very bottom right here, those are also paper doll sets. And then up here, um, there, there's children's books with paper doll sets, and then I've got Sleeping Beauty up there, I've got a Barbie, um, I've got some newspaper paper doll sets up, or paper dolls up there. So, I mean, I've got, I've got, <laughs> turn you back around here, I've got loads of paper dolls. I've got a uh, milk crate that's, uh, that has um, paper dolls in them. And then I've got, let me show you, um, I've got a coloring book, a children's coloring book from the 1950s. Let me, let me see if I can get this out. This has my time. Let me see. Well, here we go. Here, here's, here's an example of a paper doll set. Now, you guys have probably seen books like this, or some of you may have, books like this. That, of course, this is Barbie. And um, it's just, you know, it's just chock-a-block of, you know, uh, you know, and you take these little tabs and you put them over the dolls. And I love, I love these. Now, let's see. I think this one was not done by... Now, Tom Tierney did do a few of these Barbie, um, that he wasn't credited for it, but he actually did do some uh, Barbie paper doll sets back in the, I think the 90s, I believe, because I have a few of the Barbies that he, Barbie paper doll sets that he did, but the, these usually have like four, uh, you know, four to six to eight pages of paper dolls. This one only has got, I think, four, but you, know, you can see some of the clothes in here. Of course, it's kind of hard because it's kind of large. I think this is like 9 by 12. I'm not really sure the size, but this is huge. But anyway, let me let me see if I can find one of the books. Because back in the 50s, they did children's coloring books that had a variety. Oh, here, I think this is it. Ah, oh, here we are. This is, this is one of the coloring books I was telling you about. This is... Let me see if I can put this a little bit further. If you can see what it says, it says sunny hours for a rainy day. Now this is a vintage coloring book from the 1950s. And inside, of course, and this is uncolored by the way, and inside it has lots of activities, but it also has, and this is why I bought it. Hold on, let's see, like paper crafts. You, you know, you cut that out and make it into you know, a rocking, you know, a rocking horse. And I do believe, and of course it's got some cars, and then, let me see if I can find the paper dolls. Oh, here we are. This one's Peter. I think there's a, 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 there's a little girl in here, too. But, you know, and you color them. Of course, this book has not been colored in. I actually have this book. I mean, this was a duplicate. So I've got to, um, I've got to actually scan it. Or scan, well, see, it's got like a tree, like a mask. So or actually, that's a, that's a, that's a game. That's a, that's a little game. So, I mean, just things that, and here's, here's the other one, Jean. And then you have things like this, where you color in where all the little dots are. So, I mean, there's just an activity book for kids. Uh, but look how thick this thing is. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of things to do for a child. And, you know, I mean, I think I had one of these when I was, you know, uh, something similar name, not, not like this one. But, and I love the artwork in these things. The artwork is beautiful in these. Oh, here's another one. There was Jean, now there's Patty. So that's another one, like three paper dolls in here. And this one here is, let's see, can you find what is wrong? And like the tulip has got thorns on it. Tulips do not have thorns. And the horse has got paws instead of hooves. <laughs> but anyway, um, that will do it for this uh, palette full packs. And um, I hope wherever you are in the world, you are having a wonderful day. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. God bless. Bye.